Hey guys, what is up and welcome to another FIFA 17 career mode experiment. That is right. So, this was previously requested by a subscriber, and that was combining Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid squads. So, that is what we're going to do. I have taken the best players from Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid and I've combined them onto the squad of Real Madrid so it's going to be interesting I want to see how the team can do Barcelona managed to um, nearly win the treble but unfortunately couldn't do too well in the Copa this so either way I'm gonna show go in now and show you the players that I brought in so they're both five or six so Diego Godin is a fantastic center back, uh, absolutely quality defender. I believe he scored in the Champions League final for them back in 2014, and uh, he was formerly of Villarreal, but obviously moved to Atletico and has proved well worth it. Uh, quite the center back. Shame he's 30 though, because given EA, they will decrease his ratings for some reason. Then we got uh, Koke, the uh, player who's very much in the Spanish national team setup and very a lot of dark green stats around can play center midfield right mid or left mid then obviously the main man Antoine Griezmann really just a classy classy player a brilliant finisher broke Bayern Hearts last year in the semi-final can he do it again but he is really quite the player so many green stats only three so that's quite something there uh, in terms of skill attributes he yeah, yet again uh, green really does seem to be the main color but uh, he is such an amazing striker and to top it off he has four star skills and can play striker right wing or left wing so very very versatile player and for specialities he's the dribbler acrobat and clinical clinical finisher then in goal we got Jan Oblak, so the Slovenian-born goalkeeper, who's obviously currently playing for Atletico Madrid. He was part of the defense that was, I believe, the lowest conceded the least goals in La Liga history. So quite the keeper there, and an incredible goalkeeper. Like his only green stat is kicking. Other than that, he has 83 diving, 90 handling. 87 positioning and 82 reflex, so quite the keeper. And not a bad weak foot for a keeper. Uh, so, in terms of traits, he has a goalkeeper long through and he comes for crosses. Uh, Seven Savage was more of a throw in. He's not the best player, but he did actually play in the previous Champions League final, so I thought he was a worthwhile mention to bring into the team. Yannick Ferreira, Ca Yannick Ferreira Carrasco uh, has been on brilliant form and for that reason Atletico recently put in a 100 million buyout clause for him but he's quite the player has around 88 to 89 potential in FIFA career mode and he is really just a solid player as you like very good stats all around four star four star can play left mid or right mid and is the, he's has all these stats at the age of 22 then Saul is someone for the long term, but he is really making an impact. He scored some huge goals in the Champions League. That brilliant uh, individual goal versus Bayer Leverkusen in the round of 16 this year. And, of course, the famous goal in the Champions League sem semifinal versus Bayern Munich. But he has great stats overall. Very good defender, but can also go forward and do what is needed. He can play at uh, the central midfield, right mid cam and left mid positions he's only at the age of 21 and he has four star weak foot three star skills and the final player I decided to choose to bring in was Jose Maria Jimenez so he is a defender for the future but a very good one at that great defending has a very solid future always seems to get sold in career mode which kind of mystifies me but Still quite the player, and like Saul, at the age of 21, is an absolute beast. And Bale, 
uh, as the attacking midfielders. And then we got Antoine Griezmann and Cristiano Ronaldo as a strike pair, which is really incredible. What a team this is. Time to take it into the games, see how we're doing in January. See you there. So now we're into January, and Real Madrid have done suitably well so far. They have gone with only one loss all season so far. Goal difference of 22, which is the best in La Liga. Barcelona are surprisingly 12 points behind at this stage in the season, so Real Madrid are in a very good position at the moment. So in terms of... So either way, let's take a look at the stats of the players now. So we got Jan Oblak. So he's been very good. Jan Oblak has been very good so far this season. In 8 games... In 16 games, he has 8 clean sheets. Pepe is starting to slow down with age, which is why Rafael Varane is going to be put into the starting lineup for the rest of the season. Diego Godin has been a beast with a 5 clean sheets in 15 games. Sergio Ramos has also been a very good defender. However, some horrible luck as he has a broken tailbone and will be out for 4 months. So, Gareth Bale uh, has been very good this season. 9 goals in 22 games, well on his way to having a fantastic season. Uh, Casemiro, 10 clean sheets, 23 games, 5 goals, not bad at all. Yana Carrasco uh, has played a pretty key role. He's gotten to 14 of the 16 uh, La Liga games and six of all 6 of the Champions League games. James Rodriguez has been a little disappointing so far this season, but has played a lot of games. Griezmann has been everything you could want and more. 15 goals in 25 games. He's played pretty much all the time. Kareem Benzema, he's been okay. Uh, Rafael Varane is definitely not being sold as he's probably going to replace uh, Pepe. Isco uh, has not got very many games, so he'll hopefully get him a few more as the season comes to a close. Koke, I have to admit, does deserve to be in the starting lineup now, uh, given his play and rating. Taylor Navis hopefully will get more games in the second half. Welp, guess what Real Madrid did? They decided to sell Ronaldo. Which is just freaking fantastic. Um, yeah, so slightly annoyed right now because the Real Madrid board had the great idea of selling Ronaldo. So we're going to have to bring in Messi to replace him. We're just going to make an offer for Messi. I know it's a bit controversial, but we need somebody to replace Ronaldo because losing him is really uh, a big blow for this team. Um, yeah. So either way, Messi, Barcelona have accepted the offer for him. So just to make sure he accepts, we're going to offer, yep, $2 million per week. We really want to see him join the team. So, And, well, you'd be kind of stupid not to accept the deal. Lionel Messi comes in, and he's going to replace Cristiano Ronaldo. So now we move in to June. Time to go and simulate the Champions League final. Can Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid's combined squads come in and win the Champions League? Let's see. So Juventus lineup, Buffon, Licksteiner, Chiellini, Bonucci, and Alexandro on the back. And Carrasco has scored. 22nd minute, we have a good start. Messi has made it 2-0 in the final. Marquisio and Kadir in the midfield. Juve have scored with Asamoa, but Modric made 3 1. And Diabala and Higuain up top. Bale makes it 4. It's 4 1. That is it. Real Madrid have won the Champions League final. So now let's take a look in terms of the league. Real Madrid won the league by 7 points. An incredible season for them, back to winning the title. A particular shocker though, FC Barcelona only finished in 5th. That is really, really surprising there. In terms of Copa de España, well, Real Madrid lost in the final of the Copa de España. So, not amazing, but 
That is much better than Barcelona did, and they only lost on penalties. And obviously, in the Champions League, 4-1 for Real Madrid. So, against Sporting Club de Portugal, they won 3-2-1. Then they faced Leicester, they won 3-0. Then they played Sevilla in the Champions League semifinals. So they won 4-1 there and repeated that scoreline in the final, as previously aforementioned, against Juventus. So let's take a look at the stats of the players now. There's been some pretty good growth among a lot of players. Jan Oblak was a really a huge, was an amazing player over the course of the season. Keylor Navas got more appearances as went on, so it was probably good to sell the previous, one of the previous keepers. So Sergio Ramos only made uh, 17 appearances, 10 clean sheets, because he got a 4-month injury. But luckily for us, he was available for the Champions League final. Diego Godin has an, had an amazing season. He played in all 12 Champions League games. He played in 12 of the Champions League games and 21 La Liga games. Rafael Varane really came out of nowhere and had a very solid season. James, 6 goals, 35 games, 3 assists. Very solid for him. Luka Modric came back, had a pretty decent season. Tony Cruz grew by one. Yana Carrasco, 10 goals in 53 games. He was such a key force in this season. Lionel Messi, um, 7 goals on the season in total. Obviously, we did pay a lot for him, but I'd say he was worth it. Uh, Antoine Griezmann was the real deal. He's probably one of the first times I've seen a striker actually live up to his billing. 32 goals in 60 games. Incredible. Even without Ronaldo, who, like I said before, for some reason went to Man United, he was just brilliant. And 13 assists to top it off. He has to be the MVP of the season. Gareth Bale, 21 goals, 11 assists. This attacking lineup has been really good. Uh, Isco didn't get much game time, but got it went up by two ratings. Koke got, went up by three ratings, 87 overall currently. Only got 11 games. Marco Sensio got into 25 games this season and uh, is a constantly improving player. Jose Maria Jimenez has uh, a very solid future in both the game and in real life. Either way, that is going to be the end of the experiment. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, experiment. And if you guys want more of stuff like this, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace!